What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 news roundup video. You guys seem to enjoy these, so I'll keep on doing them when there's a lot of news. I'm not just gonna do these every time Ed Boon tweets like a picture of an ice cream, right? I'm not gonna do a video every single time, but I'll let it pile up, and if we get a couple of bits of news, I'll make this video. But if you guys are excited, drop a thumbs up, and let's get into it. What are we talking about today, Ed? Well, let's see what Ed's talking about on his Twitter. If we scroll up, the first thing that he talked about is this. Get ready for a surprise. And what is this? We got pictures of uh, Arnold? You guys know about my theory about... Terminator being a guest character in Mortal Kombat 11. And well, uh, Ed Boon saying getting ready for a surprise. What is Arnold in? That's right. The Terminator movies. And what brand new movies coming out this year? That's right. A brand new Terminator movie. Coincidence? There's no coincidence when it comes to Ed Boon. The next thing that caught my attention was this tweet right here. Someone tweeted at Ed Boon saying like this guy maybe. And Ed Boon replied, how fun would that be? And it has a picture of Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. Now, the thing about this character is people thought that it was going to be Sweet Tooth because of the ice cream truck at E3, which I had some ice cream. Phenomenal. And Sweet Tooth drives an ice cream truck. The Twisted Metal games are all about that, right? They drive around these crazy vehicles. So people were thinking, oh, Sweet Tooth has to be a character in Mortal Kombat 11. When I think of Sweet Tooth, I'm thinking of a PlayStation exclusive character. And I don't think Mortal Kombat and NetherRealm will be doing these exclusive characters for consoles anymore. I know they did it back in MK9 with Kratos being an exclusive character for the PS3, but I don't think we're in that age anymore where they're going to do console exclusive characters. So if they were doing that, Sweet Tooth would be an awesome character showing up for the PlayStation version. And then, I don't know, Xbox could get like maybe a Marcus Phoenix or a Master Chief, something like that. And then people also said, hey, Cage, if it's not Ash Williams showing up in Mortal Kombat 11, how about a Gears of War character? I could see that. There's also been talks about Doom Guy, maybe. And then there's also talks about that one chick from Lollipop Chainsaw. I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure that's not going to happen just because there hasn't been a new Lollipop Chainsaw game in like forever and not a lot of people know about her. So yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But right now I'm still leaning towards Ash Williams as a guest character. But okay, I'm getting off topic. Sweet Tooth. Is it going to happen? Maybe, but I don't think so. I think this is just uh, Ed being uh, Ed being a troll. How fun would that be? I don't think so, Ed. You're not fooling me with Sweet Tooth. Let's talk about the big juicy news that Ed Boon has made regarding a character for Mortal Kombat 11 Combat Pack 1. What is this tweet? What is this tease you're asking? Well, it's this tweet right here. Some people call me the cowboy. What, what does that even mean? Some people call me the cowboy? Like, are you Aaron Black? Are you Magic Black? Like, what's going on here? If you copy this sentence right here, some people call me a cowboy, and go to Google, and just type that in, some people call me the cowboy, the first thing that pops up is this. We get this video right here. I'm gonna pause because I don't wanna get copyrighted. But some people call me the space cowboy, the Joker. I don't know if you guys can see it because uh, my, my head's blocking it, but uh, let, me, let me just move over here. Some people call me the Space Cowboy, the Joker. Oh God, oh God, I did not. Uh, I honestly, when I saw this tweet, I didn't think um, anything of it. You know, maybe he was talking about maybe we get space skin for, <laughs> for Aaron Black. But now looking at this, the Joker. Now, you might be saying, Cage, you're looking into this too much. You know, it's not the Joker from DC, right? They can't do that. It's a DC character. Uh, they don't want to get their characters cut up in half. True! But if there was any character that would be in a Mortal Kombat game, Joker has a higher chance than, like, Batman. Because, you know, kids don't want to see Batman get his heart ripped out of his chest. But Joker, he had the skin on his face ripped off or like cut off so him being in Mortal Kombat could work would I like to see it honestly don't hate me DC fans but I would not like to see Joker in Mortal Kombat just because I'd rather have a Mortal Kombat character take that slot or someone like someone super out there but Joker it's like come on, man, we just had injustice why we need more Joker now if we go back to Ed Boon's tweet and we go down Dan replies some people call me Danny but most call me Dan a few call me Daniel am I doing this right and then good old Tyler Lansdowne saying, what a joker. Listen, this can't be a coincidence, all right? 
This can't be a coincidence. That is just too many Jokers for me. I like the Joker. He's cool. He's iconic. He's one of my favorite DC villains. And it also does make sense because Joker has a movie coming out this year starring Joaquin Phoenix. So maybe the Joker being in MK is helping promote that new Joker movie. And if Joker was in Mortal Kombat, there is a lot of Joker outfits that they can give Joker for customization. But oh man, oh man. Again, DC fans do not... Do not flame me for this, but I do not want Joker in Mortal Kombat. I honestly didn't want a Marvel or DC character in Mortal Kombat because I just don't think they'll work. But Joker is the exception where he kind of works. Again, I'd rather have an MK character. I, if Takeda doesn't make it in the game because of Joker, a little triggered. And then the last tweet I want to talk to you guys about is this one right here when someone tweeted Ed Boon saying, How about Pennywise in MK11, Ed? And Ed replies, Looking back on when I... Links to this video, I wish. So, Ed Boon saying, looking back on when I wish Pennywise would be in MK11 or MK in general. So, I think that is a safe bet saying that Pennywise is not going to show up in Mortal Kombat 11. If Joker shows up in Mortal Kombat 11, because it helps promote the new Joker movie. If Joker is in the game, he could have a skin where he could also be Pennywise. Because then Pennywise being in MK11 will also help promote the new IT movie. Oh my god, I swear. Oh, I swear. Pennywise and Joker are like one character, but you know, can swap out the skins. I think that I would accept more than just having Joker in the game as a standalone. But that is all the news I have for you guys today on Mortal Kombat 11. What do you guys think about all the things we talked about today? Do you guys think Joker is going to be a guest character in MK11. Do you guys think Pennywise and Joker could be one character? What do you guys think about Sweet Tooth? Let me know everything, all your thoughts, all your opinions down below. If you guys enjoy these Mortal Kombat 11 news roundup videos, drop a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe to our channel. Ring that bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name is Uncage Games, and you just got Kane. Okay, I just thought about this while editing the video. Sweet Tooth is kind of like a clown as well. So what if Joker, Sweet Tooth, and Pennywise, all three clowns are one character? Mind blown. Just an idea. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Mine's on Cage Games, and you just got Cage. Two, one, two, one, two, three. Right kick, meter burn. Five, twelve, guys. That is ridiculous damage. Liu Kang. Why, why, why doesn't Johnny Cage have this amount of damage? Do it with Fatal Blow? You can do it with Fatal Blow. Oh, don't. Oh.